three more different routes. And I usually start getting better results. Yeah. Do you undergo third toes or just one? Sorry? Uh, you, both. Now, there is, okay, there is a reflex for that in the body, but it's not guaranteed. Under the occiput, okay, could show autonomic nervous system. It's not guaranteed. So, um, you know, when I lived here, I used to talk to tell people, well, and, and you know, there are a lot of people from ACTCM, I used to tell people, if you take the 22 Fillmore, um, and no, you know, and it goes through, um, the film, I don't know if it's still like that. It goes through the whole city, yeah. 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 But no, 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 but it goes through, um, what is Fillmore. it, in third? Fillmore, which used to be a, a poor black neighborhood, right. and it goes to third, which you, you know, in, in uh, where is it? Bayview. Bayview. So you, you get a fair amount, I mean, as opposed to the one California, maybe, where you get a lot of people from <coughs> Chinatown, but you get the more, you know, yuppie crowd. Okay, you get a less yuppie crowd than the 22 film we used to. Okay. So you see lots of people with bumps here, black people, because the poor black people have a lot more blood pressure problems. That's just a, you know, nothing racist, but it just happens, you know. You see these bumps. So blood pressure, uh, autonomic nervous system, often, you know, we, we call in TCM, sorry? Like bumps, bumps. Like, like... Haven't you? Like buffalo hump under the, you know, yeah. under the... Yeah. You've never seen somebody like... Instead of a double chin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> they, they, they have a double, what were you, double occiput. Double occiput. <laughs> you know, also, wait, wait, in Chinese, also, we say the same thing. You know, in Chinese, in, 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 in TCM, an mian, good sleep point, is here. Your wind points, the wind makes you go like this. You know, it's all here. And actually, that's related, by the way, to, to the kidney six business, so we'll go through that at some point. Also. Okay, so this has a lot to do with the autonomic nervous system. Mm -hmm. yeah. So my suggestion... Oh, yeah. Thanks for the rest of Sorry? I'm going to set the treatment model. Thank you for coming. Ah, speaking. great. Okay. Uh, a two-call or is no. this coming to yeah. Yeah. answer? That's fine. Yeah. yeah. No, no, that's cool. That's cool. I just do not. Okay, so I think we have enough mm -hmm. theoretical concepts. Would everybody agree that that was like a little more than enough for to digest? I had one question. Yes. For when you say treat low blood pressure, how low is blood pressure? You're gonna have to make, see. The, you okay? Anybody who says like 100 over 60, which is borderline, definitely low blood pressure. Thing is, but you need blood pressure for digestion, and for the uh, Fayborn people, you need blood pressure for fertility. You know, not all because I know there's a bunch of you. So the, the whole gynecological system works off blood pressure. It's a blood system. There's got to be something moving there, you know. So it's hard to say exactly what the number should be, you know. But and that's why I usually tell them, can you ask what the blood pressure was? If it's lower than 110 over 70, I would definitely consider it. And again. You've got the medical history, now you have to prioritize and test and see if it's really working. Don't worry about what the numbers are. It was just an idea. So basically what's happening, this system, and if you see Kiko, it's the same thing. What you're seeing, you're seeing some sort of computer at work going boom, 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 boom. It's spinning out ideas. And then you're testing them to see if they're actually working. Don't worry, you can test 20 million ideas in three seconds flat, well, three minutes flat. Okay. It doesn't take that long. You, you get better at it. Grant, I understand at the beginning it will be hard. Don't, you don't have to have the right idea. Okay, just by poking abdomen and listening to medical history. You don't have to have it right, right there and then. You think about it, you prioritize, test your priority and go, throw it out the window, big deal. What's the next idea? <clears throat> Afterwards, after a while, you go, oh gee, I don't know. <laughs> I ran out of ideas. Okay, that's a problem. But run out of ideas first. Okay, don't try and latch onto the first idea. Don't try and prove your ideas. You don't have to prove them. That's one of the things about the system. The patient is proving your ideas. This is a very uncomfortable system to work with. For the type, you know, like especially five element people, the Worsley types. The people who love to take pulse and do diagnosis. It's a very hard system for them, not because they don't have good hands necessarily. Some of them have fabulous hands. Because this is, Kiko used to call it, remember, blue collar acupuncture. Okay? This is not standing behind and thinking. It's that too. 
but it's proving yourself with your hands. And if you can't, if that's not comfortable for you, this system won't work for you. Okay? Because it's very interactive and ultimately the patient is in control. You can't tell the patient, yes, now the spleen is much better. <laughs> Which spleen? Which finger is the spleen anyway? I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm going to tell you that you spleen, you're getting much better. Keep paying. You know, it's like, the, and, and, I, you know, no offense, but a lot of us do do something a little bit like that. There is a lot of psychology, you know, I used to, as a practitioner here in Marin, I used to get pissed off as hell at this person. Very, very famous Japanese person. You now know exactly who that is. <laughs> three piece suit. <laughs> they come into the treatment room and they give you this impression oh, I work with all these great doctors, UCSF, they refer to me all the time, blah, 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 blah. It's okay if you don't know who it is, it's just fine, it doesn't matter. I used to go berserk. Like, why? He's so much. And this is like 15, 20 years ago, $200 for one for first time treatment, 120 for follow ups. At that time, it was beyond gold. Okay? It was just not, not conceivable for me at least. And I, used to get all, and I had a friend who worked in, in this person's clinic, and she said, Everybody gets the same treatment. I don't understand why people like it. More. What's the big deal? One day it occurred to me. He's, you know, because before I used to think, oh, charlatan, business, blah, 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 blah. And I went, Qigong. That's uh -huh. Qigong. Uh -huh. He convinces people, you came to the best person, you will get better. What's worth more than that? <laughs> you know, it's like, a lot of people do get better. So, it's okay. I don't know, I can't tell you that what I do is the only way. I, I'm, I just tell you, this is what I do. That's it. And I don't have the Qigong capacity. Definitely don't have that ability. I, I'm, I, Kiko's very good at, you know, like somebody you see on she's like, Better, but, and eventually they said yes. <laughs> but somebody said, no, no, anybody who's been in a class with Kiko knows if she wants to do a certain point, that's the point she's going to work with, and it doesn't matter, and it will work. You know, because the intention is more important than what you actually do. But if, you, if you're the type of practitioner that needs to control the situation, and I'm not saying this negatively, I'm going to control it, okay? You can't let the patient decide when they're better or not, because they have all the power in the world. No, it's not gone. No, it's not gone. And a third toe. Maybe it's gone. <laughs> it's like if they're the ones who are determining the treatment, not you. And that's a certain letting go that you have to be willing to do. It's not just the hands. Yes, it's the hands. It's the coordination of the hands and the brain. But it's, more, it's a certain willingness. And that's, to me, I think that prevents me. Yes? I have a question, a quick question, way back to the liver palpation of sharper dull. Uh -huh. um, if I take out the people who have, you know, liver disease or chemo, the remaining people, I have a hard time differentiating dull or sharp, and the patients seem to also have a hard Yes, time. and some people will have mixed. And I'm wondering what you see more of in those, in that category, more dull or more sharp, or if you can even rate Depends that on the patients, okay, I'll tell you. I see more dull, to be honest, but I, well, I look, I used to work here, and I'm now in, in New Hampshire. The patient population is so different. You can't tell, and you know, I travel around the world and I teach in different places. It's different from country to country. You can't, I can't tell you what it's like to be in the Bay, what it would be like in the Bay Area seven years, I mean, six years after I left here. I don't know. I tend to find generally more dull, not guaranteed. Honestly, not a guarantee. The other, the ones where you, if the, if it's mixed for the patient, if it's not clear for the patient, start as if it's dull or go for fatty liver. That's another option. But also, don't forget kidney and eye. Uh, that's why I give you the, the mixed, the, the not clear. Sometimes better to go that way than because you you know. So for example, I have a patient on Coumadin. Lupus on Coumadin, supposed to be liver deficiency. Now, this relates to medical history, by the way. So I'm treating her, treating her, treating her. Why do you have liver excess? You're on Coumadin. You're supposed to be liver deficiency. The dogma is liver deficiency. I don't get it. I'm treating her for liver excess because that's what I find. 
then one day I find out, oh, by the way, yes, I had hepatitis. I mean, what? people forget to tell me my poster. Oh, they, they, there's a famous one, I didn't bring it down there, but I always talk about it in class, the chiropractor, it's quite a famous chiropractor as it happens, uh, came to me and everything left side, left side, hernia, right? Mm -hmm. Left side, left side, left side, everything. I said, do you have heart disease in the family? No. Okay, we can get on the table. Second time, it, I can't remember what, why the first time it didn't come out. Second time, I, maybe they have a shirt on something. There's a box here. <laughs> What is this box? <laughs> I, <laughs> box. <laughs> like a robot has a box. <laughs> oh, it's my pacemaker. I asked you. you to, I asked you if you had a heart disease in your family. You're not in your family? Well, what's the matter with you? They forget. I mean, someone who can forget they have a pacemaker. People will not tell you their medical history. They just won't. It doesn't matter how much you inquire. It's a, you know, it's, like, it's what they do. So, you know, I mean, really, it's like if somebody doesn't tell you about a pacemaker, they'll forget their hepatitis, they'll forget their chemo, they'll forget, I mean, they come, you know, people rehearse their story. They come to you, they know what they're about to tell you. Sometimes they, they decided, they saw your picture on the web and they decided that you're such and such person, they'll tell you this. They'll go to another acupuncturist, they'll tell them, I mean, I've had this happen, I come to other acupuncturists. Did they say this thing? No. <laughs> and I'm like, is this the same patient? It's like, yeah, it's the same word. They tell it, they, they rehearse. It's bound to be like that. So little by little, the medical history comes out. So yeah, and I couldn't understand why am I not finding liver deficiency? So if you're not sure which one it is, treat something like kidney nine. Treat inguinal, sometimes helps the liver. Treat this one, you know, treat fat, fatty liver is usually safe either way. Oh, fatty liver is, is, it? No, what is it? sorry, fatty liver is right stomach 25, right liver 13. You can say liver 13 or go about 26, I really don't care which one it is. The official level is 13. Could you repeat those lines? I'm sorry. Right stomach 25, mm -hmm. right liver 13. Liver 13 is a point that we used to use for deep tissue pain. So, you know, it will come up. You'll see me throwing up stuff at you. You know, this is the thing. There's a computer there, and all the stuff is on, in the handouts. You know, it's, it's on, 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 on my website. You'll find all this stuff. Yeah. And if you're in liver 13, then the liver 13 is on the side. Spine, Sorry? Is it it's in the it's in classical place? Yes, classical place, yeah. Okay. Gallbladder 26, sorry. Gallbladder 26 is not in, well, it's in the classical place, but not in the textbook place. Gallbladder 26 is totally to the side. Gallbladder 26 is not below the, the 11th rib. I know that's what the textbook says, but okay, this is the story. It's take the navel, go to the side. Mm -hmm. You're done. Okay. The reason why it's under the 11th rib is because Li Shi Chen, Okay, so you have to understand, this is 12th century or something, I don't know exactly when he lived, he wasn't a friend, but you know, he didn't go to the funeral. But he decided that the daimai, the, the daimai itself belongs to the spleen category, because it has to do with dampness. Therefore, it had, GB26 had to somehow relate to the spleen moon, liver 13. Then go back. So you couldn't go liver 13 more in the front, then go about 10 or six, and then go front again. It just didn't make sense. But if you take primitive dimide, primitive dimide doesn't even go down to, to, to the to the inguinal, it's just around navel level. It belongs to the kidney category actually. But Rishi Jen wanted it to be more, you know, had this different idea. And because Rishi Jen is so important in Chinese medicine, everybody kowtowed and said, fine. Now we, we literally change the location of points. That happens all throughout. That's why point location doesn't matter. Okay. Patient, any more questions? And let's get somebody on here. Yes. Um, in, the, in the handout for blood pressure and balance, you have. Spleen 6, spleen 9, pericardium, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. And then the 9, 10, and early stress. Can you okay. tell us where those are? Yes, I can. So. Small intestine 9 and 
uh, I believe this is 10 and this is 9 or 9 or 10, I don't know which is which, but anyway, somewhere in between, you're looking for gummy stuff here, actually, the, the, the arm will be more here, sorry. So this area here, you'll see it, you'll see it for sure. It's very rare that I don't use something there. And the iliac crest is supporting point. That's actually, especially for high blood pressure, needle it downwards. Um, this is needle outwards. So basically, if you're a shiatsu person and you know these things, these stretches that people do, yes, right? What? OK, they don't. <laughs> they don't do the plea part. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, there's no person here. You need to understand what I'm doing, right? So it has to be exaggerated. So, you know, you take the, okay, boom, boom, okay, was that better? <laughs> that kind of thing, to open up the major joints, if you have high blood pressure, it's very important that the, the major joints of the shoulder and the hip are opened up. That's why breaststroke swimming is probably one of the best exercises for high blood pressure type people. Open up the major joints. Okay. Um, you have a question? And, yeah, you had a question here? Uh, Red oh, yes. <laughs> I was saying, uh, for the fatty liver, you said stomach 25 liver 13. Are you saying right. those are the reflex? No, it's treated. The, the, put it yeah, in. you'll feel it in the, you'll feel it in the liver. You feel it. You, you feel liver. something. That's often, fatty liver is often a confused liver, so to speak. Yeah, like you can't tell excess or deficiency. Usually feels more like a deficiency. Fatty liver originally is high cholesterol, fat type person. You know, it's not just fatty liver, it's fatty person. Okay. By the way, liver type tends to be round belly. Okay, they're like an apple shape, and if you get a very extreme case, you see it more in men, but you do get women like that also. It's not like, like two sticks, like a stalk, mm -hmm. uh, and a big belly. It's very round and, and little sticks. Okay. The spleen type tends to be, okay, um, what in Israel we call Mediterranean butt. <laughs> so you usually see it more in women, you do see it on men every so often, but it's very, okay, so you're going somewhere and you're sitting across the table or a desk from, a lot, from this woman and she's incredibly skinny and Miss, Miss Tweedy, okay? And then they get up, whoa, this can't possibly be the same person. You know, from the waist <laughs> up, very, very skinny, from, and here it's like huge. That's like, you know, and you see that, yeah. okay? It's not all that uncommon. That, that big butt and big thighs, that's more spleen type, okay? Or sugar type. That person you can immediately say to them, you love carbs, you love spaghetti, macaroni, whatever, cake, whatever it is, you know, but carbs. Doesn't have to be sugar. A lot of these people will tell you, I don't touch sugar. Because they know they get headaches, they get something, but they will touch carbs. And they're addicted to carbs. That's that, that type. So, so now, now take these caricatures and make them kind of a little bit more. <laughs> no, the normal. first one was more the liver type. The, the apple. Yeah. The apple on two sticks is the liver. Yeah. And the um, pear. The Mediterranean butt is the pear. The pear is the spleen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What if you have someone who maybe used to be one of, like, look more like that, but then they've exercised and changed? They will always be that type. There is no way to change it. You can be thinner. You can lose the weight, but your shape, your legs will, your, your thighs and butt are always going to be bigger. You're going to, not everybody's like huge, but you, there's going to be a discrepancy between the two. They're going to be thinner here than here, or they're going to tend to, to accumulate weight. In, in, uh, they're going to have a roundish belly. It, it's, you can't change the type. You can change the way it looks. You can suddenly have lots of interesting clothes. But you, no, no, I mean, you, it's not going to look necessarily always like that, but it, there's going to be that. So just before we, last, any more questions? Before we put into it? So I just want everybody to stand up for a moment. So we talk about number 13. And by the way, do two is a very important point for me. So what I want you to do is stand and experiment with tuck the pelvis under and then stick the butt, stick the tailbone out. 
But do it so that you fit. Just notice what it does to you. Tuck under and stick out. Anybody has some feel as to what's happening to them? I've had one person who had certain sexual images about it. I'm not interested. <laughs> it happened in class, I'm telling you. <laughs> Come on. It raises my crown. Hmm? It raises my crown. It raises your crown. Which one? Um, when I... Uh, well, I mean, well, I guess the final. Okay, so okay, so something got activated in this that makes you feel okay. That's what you can't tell which is which. Can someone feel what happens when you're tucking under and what happens when you're? It's, it's when you tuck under, it's more elastic. You're working. Okay, you guys are thinking too much. Okay, stop doing. <laughs> We're not interested in what's. Don't think about. Don't think mechanics. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. What do you feel? Mentally, emotionally, whatever. Okay, tuck under, how do you feel? Stick the butt out, how do you feel? Mm -hmm. more, more, more stable, stable and grounded when yeah. you tuck. When you tuck yeah. under, you feel more grounded? Yeah. Okay, more very stable. good. Okay, when you stick your butt out, or stick your tailbone yeah. back. Yeah. Vulnerable. Stream, hmm? Vulnerable. 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 Okay. 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 When I okay. tuck under, yes. I, I, I feel like I gaze within. Okay. I go the other way, I feel yeah. like I'm looking Yes, down. okay, yes. that's, okay, that's, fair. that's pretty, that's a nice description. Okay, so basically I think we can sort of, you know, we can sort of say if you're tucking under, you know, it's, it's like if you're going into horse, okay, well, why is this position there? Okay, this famous horse, Qigong, blah, blah, blah. It's like, she can't go anywhere. <laughs> It's like from here, it's like, you know, in order to go somewhere, you've got to, I mean, you've got to have straight legs. You know, one of the legs has to be straight. Okay, so number one. But also, that tucking under makes you more internalized. It's a more, somewhat more parasympathetic style because it opens up the sacrum. And the sticking your tailbone out makes you more sympathetic. You're going somewhere. Okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating, obviously. I'm going you know, to show you. So the, the tailbone and liver 12 area control your nervous system. Okay. So it's going to be very important. Now I brought it up because somebody asked something. Oh, it was about the small intestine 11, uh, 9, 10, sorry. Um, in blood pressure, it's very important to be able to release the, the sacrum, that parasympathetic ganglia, but also, okay, now this is going to be, let's see how we're going to do that. Okay, stand up. Sorry, I'm taking notes. So you all know about Kimi One, right? The bubbling spring. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does anybody know the name for Heart One? G Chuan. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Go go into your banker's thing. <laughs> so I want you to press that, do what we did before, separating the kidney six. Press the heel to the floor, lift the ankle bone. Careful of your knees. And then feel the spring, bubble it up from kidney one into the perineum, and see what happens in, in, in heart one. Send the heel down, <coughs> lift the ankle bone up, and spring up from kidney one. And see if there's any relationship with the chest. Mm -hmm. it, goes down. it might for some people, but something shifts. What should go down is the shoulder blade itself should go down. Okay, the front probably, you know, in the front it might go up. Okay, relax. Okay. There's, a, there's a connection between heart. First of all, both of them, first point on both Shaolin channels. There's got to be a relationship, and there's a relationship by now. So if you are a meditator, Okay, you have to understand a lot of these points came from that. The reason I'm saying this is I want you to start developing your own ways of looking at point and point names so you can figure stuff out for yourself. It doesn't matter what the protocol is. What matters is how am I looking at the body. Okay, if I'm activating my kidney one, something here will lift. Okay, and then if you're 
able to do that, hopefully, I, and I saw this yesterday, I came on the BART from the airport. A guy comes in, pulls out his laptop, sits on the bar, and he's on the laptop, and within two seconds, first he was like this. I'm not exaggerating, he was like this. And this is probably a good, um, and, you know, and this is a mild description of what was happening. This was not a person with polio or anything weird. You know, this was just a normal, no, no, I mean, you know, you think, wow, he's deformed. When he, he walks on, he looks like a regular person, Joe Blow, with the shoulders totally bare, he gets on, he sits down, opens the computer, opens the computer, it went like this, started doing something, I have no idea what he was doing. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, talk about lack of, I mean, not just being not nice, but there's a lack of awareness that's happening when, when we do this, there's just like total non-connection. So for those of you who are in the, who love this small intestine 11 kick, Chen, heaven, song. Okay, that's the name of small intestine 11. Okay? This part, this is the roof. This is, I'm putting something under. And what am I putting under? I'm putting, which I, the reason it's hard for me to write because normally we write it like this. Okay, this thing with, this is Shen. Okay, something that came down from heaven. My ancestor, what comes down from heaven is the energy of my ancestors. Okay, so in some ways, this is like saying heaven, heaven point. And why, now this, some people say gather, this is ancestor, why, be, it's, it's a gathering, it's the gathering of something that came down from heaven. Where, where, would, where do we do it? When people go to worship in the ancestral altars. Okay, so that, so you can say, get, like some people say, zongchi, gathering chi, some people t translate ancestral chi. Okay, both are, both are totally correct. This is where the ancestors penetrate me, and this is actually going to be very important when you needle, when you needle, if you needle with your hands, it doesn't do the same thing. You want to be able to needle from, actually it's probably from Shen Dao, from T5, around T5. You want to needle with all your ancestors standing behind you, whoever your ancestors are. That, you know, much more important than Boucher, blah, 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 doesn't, you know. That ability to needle with all my teachers behind me, it's a big deal. Now, when you're looking at a person from the back, okay, this is where there's that depression, this is where the ancestors can come into your heart. Okay? So, the ability, once you're activating the spine, Okay, through, if you're standing, it'll be through the separation of kidney six or the activation of kidney one, either way, it doesn't matter. And you're activating the inner thigh and the perineum. Now, two things are going to happen. Most people um, will stand something like this. The lower ribs tend to push back on most people. That's just the reality. You know, it's like it doesn't matter whether they're this way or this way. They're going to, you know, they can do this and still have the lower ribs way back of themselves, okay? Isha, right? Isha for 49, 49. yeah, Isha. The, the house of the intention, okay? So, now, where, okay, first of all, where am I getting this? I'm, not, I'm getting this actually, I'm not, get, I'm not getting this from acupuncture, just so it's clear, I'm getting it from meditation, okay? This, 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 you know, but you don't have to understand that this is how the points came to be. We have to now be able to, or some of them came to be that. I have to take the Isha and jump it up. Otherwise, you, you, you know, we sing. When the whole point is for, you have to go between heaven and earth. Don't, don't take pictures of this. This is not <laughs> my view, right? <laughs> so I have to be between heaven and earth. I have to have this capacity of lengthening, between, communicating between the heaven and earth. That's what human is, right? 
You know, that's what they say. <laughs> so you want to have the capacity of the spine to spiral upwards, to take the jing, which, okay, we'll go through Dantian in a second. Take the jing and spiral it upwards. That, that's the purpose of life, is to take the kernel that was given to us by the ancestors and bring it up so eventually it all ends up as marrow in the brain. And when it's all gone, so are you. You join the ancestors and you send someone else to check the next century up and see, oh, the 22nd century is kind of interesting. Jean-Luc Picard didn't come, did he? You know, whatever it is. But you, we are here to check the world out for the ancestors. And then when we're done, we join the ancestors, go back to the ancestors, we send someone new to check things out, for, you know, and report, you know. So you have, the spine has to be somewhat elongated and also relaxed at the same time, because otherwise the marrow can't go up. If the spine, you know, if it's too, if it's too tight, and you're, you know, whoever, Oliver North, whatever, you know, like too military, it's not gonna work. Okay, so there has to be a relaxed spine, and yet, and, but it can't sink. So that's where the spleen, remember the spleen upward movement? T11, T12 is one of the most important places in the body. Okay, it's a junction in the spine that's super, super important. Bring yourself up. Then against this up of the lower ribs, if you just did up, you'll end up like this. The shoulder blade will come up. You've got to then bring the shoulder blade down. Okay, now, you know, for you, I mean, it's basically like, a, you know, doing a back bend well, well positioned, <laughs> okay? So again, it really starts from the sacrum, the, the capacity of doing that, okay? So you have to be able to bring the ribs up. That's why T, on almost everyone, I do T11, T12 in some form or another, okay? Then be able to bring the shoulder blades down so the ancestors can actually come into the chest. They can come into your space. Okay. And then, you know, in meditation postures, we talk about tuck the chin in slightly so that the wind points are not blocked. And then, the way, you know, if you sit and you sit, and it's very common, go to San Francisco Zen Center, and what you'll see is you'll see everybody starts this way. And then five, ten minutes later, they sort of go this way. And then everybody goes. <laughs> <laughs> to any meditation room, there's going to be a certain amount of that. Okay? Because if the wind points are blocked, there's going to be more and more thinking. You're going to start projecting into the future. It's just the nature of it. So you, you can sort of see how all these things relate. And if we can start developing some sensitivity to it, it's very helpful. Let's get a patient now. Uh, what time on the break? Lunch. What time? I don't know what time is it now. It's 11.20. Okay, let's do a patient and we have lunch. 12.30, we'll go lunch. And then we'll come back. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you need to know for some time. We have an who was wanting to join us after lunch. She missed the morning. Then tell her to come whenever. Lunch, have lunch. Is lunch an hour? An hour? An hour and a half. Uh, you'll be lucky if you get an hour with me. <laughs> 45 minutes. <laughs> I have a special contract with Greens. <laughs> 45 minutes it will be an hour, believe me, because if we said an hour, it will be one. Look, okay, you've been here for how long? <laughs> no, 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 start there. I mean, let's start with pain. We'll move on to things you can't see so easily. Okay? I have a like the not back here that will not go away. Okay. Is there any movement that makes it worse? We're limited? Um, I mean, it's just kind of there, so it's always okay. Hold on. There. Groin pain. Chronic pain. Chronic pain. Groin. Gro oh, groin pain, not chronic pain. Okay, groin pain. Okay. Anyone else? Yes. Just the neck. Any problem moving the neck? A little bit. Okay. How, how much it hurt? How much does it hurt? Uh, a lot. A lot. Is it difficult talking? I'm looking for drama. Oh, a little pain doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. No, no, I, mean, I want to show you something. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I have an imbalance in both hips, really. Um, okay. This is the kind of patient I'm going, oh, this is a problem. I don't know. <laughs> when they self-diagnose, I don't even care if they're an acupuncture somatic. Oh, don't you just love the ones that come and tell, me, tell you, oh, I'm a liver, blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. I'm 
<laughs> so, is there pain when you walk or pain when you do something? Uh, pain more with lifting. With lifting? Yeah. Now, inguno. Yeah. Okay, which side? Left. Okay, and you can create it by lifting the leg, apparently. Yeah. Okay, come with me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You want it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm Maybe not. Yeah, There's no. nothing no. to win. Good. Take, um, take it all off. No, really. As much as you will. You want me to drape you with a sheet? So that's why I said, you know, tomorrow, those of you who want to get on the table, bring a pair of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> the top one will be, yeah, this is fine, and the scarf you should Thank you. And the watch. Robbie, do you like to walk with some paralysis? Yeah, I walk with anything, anything that walks through the door. I'm, I'm a non discriminating slut. I'll treat anybody and any. No, no, I'm serious. I'll treat anybody and anything. So, uh, medical history. I have like a good placement on the right side. Why? Why? Um, hip replacement on the right side, and groin pain left side. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. Huh? 2008. What? What? What, what was that? Uh, probably from a very bad fall as a child. Um, did they say arthritis? Did they say... Yeah, so all the cartilage wore away, but I did not realize that till the cartilage was gone. So I, I didn't really have hip pain until... No, 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 I want them to see something. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Probably red nine pulse. You're a little scared. I'm sorry. Um, well, she's laying in front of everyone in the under. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With a sheet, with a sari. What do you mean? <laughs> so can you define red nine pulse? When you, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, usually you, it's just a ch I said chances are she has because when. Whoa, do you see? Do you see? C come, you, you talk so we can see. Yeah. Yes. Tika, tika, tika. Something in the shed cannot be contained inside the heart. Okay. Now, there is a concept of, there's the heart and there's inside the heart. There's only two channels that go inside the heart. One of them is the spleen and the other one is the heart. Okay. Inside the heart, meaning, you, you, originally we used to say pressure pain here. We didn't talk so much about pelting. We said sadness reflex. Red 9. Red 9 was originally sadness reflex. Also, small intestine reflex. Shui um, fun, divide the water. Okay, so therefore, small intestine, the small intestine divides. Right? Now, this is when the heart, when you have an emotion, for example, you know, traditionally in, in China, if you're a woman and you, go, you, know, you get married, you live in your husband's um, family, and you're now the servant of your, 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 your mother-in-law. Mother mother Thank you. So, you know, most people don't like it, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, I wasn't anybody's uh, <laughs> mother-in-law or daughter-in-law, but I think that if I was in it, I'd be pissed. But you can't, ex in China, you can't express things like that. You know, it's just not appropriate, it's not appropriate, and there's nowhere to go. You know, so it's not like, you know, here where you can say, well, bye-bye, I'm leaving. You know, it's like, there is nowhere. So the heart, this, that's the kind of, Thing that happens when the heart you can't cannot contain the emotion anymore. It shows that what the blood c contains the emotions, right? So you're seeing it in the blood. Now another theory is it's a weak, you know, another way to. So that was the origin when we started saying red nine pulse. Now I'm giving you more explanation than Kiko. Then don't go to Kiko and said Avi said this because then she'll say Avi makes up stuff like hell. <laughs> it's absolutely true, and I'm encouraging you to do the same thing. Okay. Another understanding is that the small heart, which is in the Dantian, is weak. And I'll, we'll do a little lecture, a little thing on the Dantian of what, what that means. But then that there isn't, the Dantian is not strong enough of allowing that the small heart, the small fire is not controlling the big fire. The Ming man is not controlling the heart. OK? 
Okay, so maybe in TCM you might say something about heart, kidney, miscommunion. I don't know if that there's equivalent, you know. So, but she definitely has that. It's very, yes. Can I tell you? Maybe. Yes. So, uh, really hard five years. I had three people die my mother, brother, sister in mm -hmm. five years. What's going on with your eyes? I don't know. Um, Did you have difficulty seeing? Uh, oh, my glasses. I get a lot of dryness. You get a lot of dryness? Yes. Or they ache. Have you been to an ophthalmologist? Or um, an opto mm, not a doctor? Maybe a doctor. Maybe a year and a half. Okay, so they checked? Yeah. Okay, so no, no MS, no nothing. I just ask. I'm, I'm, uh, told you I'm very Western. I go for the worst. <laughs> I'm like the, the Chinese. I go for like, okay, cancer, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we can talk about, okay, now we can talk about your mother's emotions. And, you know, I mean, it's just different. I, I have a different. Okay. What are you saying now? Give me, give me. I'll, we'll get there. Sometimes I have to check before I before I, I put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> it's like better to ch check something. Okay, your pain is. Mm, that's actually more. Okay, that's not inguinal in my opinion, but oh, that's okay. Sorry. That's inner thigh. No, no, it's okay. That does not. Here. There. There. Okay. Here. Okay. Fine. In my opinion, liver channel. Maybe, no, actually, maybe spleen channel. Okay. Spleen channel, heart, da, 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 da. okay, fine. Let's check abdomen. Let's pretend we don't know anything. We know there's renine pulse, that's for sure. We know that for sure. Hi. So when I poke here, nothing, mm, right? Not so much. Okay. You just feel my fingers. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so? Yes. Yes. Lung? Yes. yes. Adrenal? Mm, not as much. Okay. Little. Uh, adrenal? Oh, yes, a little, yes. A little, okay. I know we're nine. How is A little, yes. How is 15? A little, yes. How is 17? Yes. Yes. No, it's okay. Everything. No, nothing here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How is under the ribs and left side under the ribs? A little on the right? A little more to the left. A little more on the left. Okay, that's good. How about liver 14? Uh, more to the left. Okay, that's fine. And yeah. checking GB26, skyline. More to the left. More to the left. Okay. You had here, right? Yeah. When I poke here, I'm just we have tons to clear abdomen. Ne never go for the symptoms so, so fast. But I, I'm, I'm the kind of impatient and curious person. I'm just curious. How is that? Because I don't think I can't for liver GB26 to, to, to clear liver 12. By the way, I don't think it's structural. Why? I can feel her pulse in liver 12. I, th I think... Hmm? That's a good thing. Which is what? What, you, what is that telling you? Uh, oh, yeah, I was going to get there. <laughs> that, it's not <laughs> that it's not structural. Mm -hmm. That it's a continuation of this pulse. I think ultimately the problem is in the heart. The problem is more, you know, that, that manifesting here. But the problem is really, it's, the REN9 pulse is what really interests me. The rest kind of like on the side <laughs> okay then this i believe but i want to see structurally but i'm curious because she says left side okay dicky dicky dick hi how's better. the side better. how much better mm, a lot better a lot better okay yeah. fine Okay, so now I have a problem because, you know, okay. No, well, first of all, because I proved my theory not to, No, my theory can still be correct, but there's... Now, what's the problem going... Two things could be both. Exactly. So this is why you don't go and treat immediately. You treat the abdomen first. I can always come back here and needle call bladder 26 and get the results I want. Not a problem. Okay. If I don't treat the abdomen, if I don't treat the constitution, what I consider to be the constitution, the symptom can come back. If I don't just treat the symptom, whether it's structural or whatever, it's a waste of my time. 
Okay? Nothing is more annoying to a patient than leave your, the treatment table, like going, wow, it's gone, and for it to come back three hours later. That's worse than it didn't get better, in my opinion. You know, because it's like, they paid you when it felt better. <laughs> and then, no, seriously. And then it's like, okay, once I gave the check, I'm, I, you know, it's like the pain comes back. It's not very not nice. <laughs> okay. All right. So, now you have options with needles. You have many. I use number ones by, thir you know, um, and I I used to use serine only when I teach, but I don't do that anymore. Um, but uh, serines are better needles. It's true, but this is at least five times cheaper. I use dumb bands. Your needles are pretty good. I don't Mac, Mac. I believe. They what seemed decent. Well, those are dung bands. These are dung bands. needles. I found um, Mac, M A C. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty good. Which are very, very, very good. The, before they were in individual packages, now they come they, like this they, 10. They come in 10 packs. Mm -hmm. And they're very smooth, and they're, they're good. So and they're, they're cheaper than the online. You well, that cheaper is like 50 cents at that point. It's a, that, that, that cheaper thing. I mean, between the serin and the dung bang, the, Kiko used to use serin, and what, we both stopped using it not so much because of uh, money. Uh, the amount of plastic is just impossible. Yeah. You know, it's okay. Mm -hmm. oh. They do make serins now in the dung bag. Yeah, they do. Yeah, uh, but I... I S switched also, already before. <laughs> so they also have plastic candles. A lot of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do monster. Two, three, one, two, two. Okay. And one. One, two, three. Mm, hard to say. Maybe three. Is it both two and three? I was all, all, of all of them. Then all of them is a good answer. Okay. Hi. Stomach twelve area. Yeah. Twelve area. Yes. Yes. This side. And you had 17. Uh, cardiac disease in a family? Uh, yes. How much? Um, Mama, Papa, grandparents? Six um, people. Mother and sister. And, uh, mother, sister, brother, actually. Your mother and your sister and your brother? Yes. OK. And before that? Before uh, grandparents? Um, I'm not so sure. Oh, yes. Small intestine 11, okay. Yeah. Not very gummy, but small intestine 11 on the left side is um, one of the pathognomonic of, of cardiac. By the way, pericardium 1? No. And, no. no. And compare kidney line on the left with kidney line on the right. More to the left. More to the left. And which one? Two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Two. Okay. Thank you. You don't like this? No. Okay, sorry. That's Just ignore okay. for a second. That's fine. How is two? Better. Okay. How is 15? Better. How is 17? Still tender. Still tender. Can you compare from, well, hold on. This is without. This is with. How much better? Is it better or not better? Or yeah, how, how much better? Actually, it, it feels worse when feels you worse. press. Okay, no problem. No. What was that, Renfor? Renfor. Remember, I told you, we, maybe weak Dantian. Ming Men controlling the heart shows not controlling the heart. Yeah. Hold on. Now, let me just make sure I can find this one here. Yes. Okay, sorry. That's okay. How is now? A lot better. A lot better. Okay. But I can't needle this one. Okay. You asked me what did I see here. I'm suspicious of her eyes. Okay. What can I tell you? What about her eyes? Look at them. I would, yeah, no. What are you? <laughs> I can tell your eyes. <laughs> there is some. What are you suspicious of? <laughs> I'm suspicious of everything that walks. <laughs> there is. There's no, nothing. Shiny. I mean. There is something that's just, I mean, there's, it's just not. That's not the norm of an eye. I don't know how to describe it. It's the not. physical eye or the energetics of the eye? I would call it the energetics okay. of the eye. There's something, you call it shiny, I call it muffled, actually. There's something muffled in, in her eyes. Now, this thing, now this, no one will confirm with you. Do you see slight orange? No. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, now I can see it. Right around here. Yeah, yeah. But it's an orangey color. It's not red usually. It's usually more orangey. The upper chest area? Yes, the throat and upper chest. And it's not a suntan line. If you can let some more. Yellowish. Here's the light here. Oh, not right. Around 122 area. Orange. Oh, yeah. Okay. Orange or red? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyone else who said they couldn't see? I saw. You saw? Okay. Do, do you agree? Uh, it's faint. It's, yeah. it's faint. I, I agreed, agreed, agreed. In her case, it's faint. There are people where it's going to be worse. Here, it's not a tan line, you're saying? Yes. Okay. You see? I see. Okay. Often, I'm not saying for sure, often autoimmune disorders show that way. Okay. Now, because I don't, no, 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 no. I don't have blood. Sorry. They show us the redness. Yeah, a lot of people with autoimmune disorders will have this. Well, there's rheumatoid. My mother and sister. No, 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 no. It's okay. I didn't ask. Okay, I didn't ask. I should have. I should have done. I should have gone through the four steps. I didn't. I went through second step immediately. Okay. So. So what's the history? Rheumatoid arthritis. Her. No, not her. She had hip replacement supposedly from fall as a child, but come on, you know. Yeah. Like, I fell as a child too, I still have my own hips. Oh, this How is you a very bad No, 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 I'm kidding. Yeah. But there may be something complicated that doesn't show, that not enough for them to say, look, she clearly doesn't have rheumatoid. Okay, you know, like, so it's not enough to show, but somehow in the weaker area, maybe it was more susceptible. Okay, her REN4 is very painful. My main treatment point for autoimmune disorders is REN4 is the dantian, yeah. okay? So I'm just saying there's things that correlate, okay? So when I pulled this, uh, there was a, when I looked for the color, I look at this for every patient. I'm, as far as I know, I'm the only person in the world that says that. I have not found anybody else who will correlate, and the only people who will say it are people who, who, who learned it from, who decide that Avi must, be, must know what he's talking about and say, say it, repeat it after me. I can't tell you for sure, but I can tell you that I've actually, that I will say that I've diagnosed a number of people on the phone. No, 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 I'm serious. Somebody called, oh, Afi, my sister, blah, 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 blah. What can you, you know, say about her? And I said, well, you know, describe your sister. I never saw your sister. Can you describe, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, I, and she said, oh, she has, I said, I think your sister has autoimmune disorder. They took her to the hospital two days later, and they said, yes, she has lupus. So I, I have enough cases like this that sort of justify my personal... So you're looking for red, orange, any discoloration? Not any, not green. <laughs> no, no, some people look for green, liver, I don't know. Yeah. I'm only the red. red. The red or the orange -ish. Are you, are you cold? I'm cold. Can we increase, there's a thermostat in the back. If someone can increase the heat, that would be very nice. I need the body. Oh, can we just cover it kind of yeah. just like on that? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, give me a couple of chest. That might be even warming. Is it happier? Okay. I'm going to go off in a second. Okay. Here, right? Hmm? Not quite. Um, yeah. when, you, when you talk about the Duncan, will you talk about why REN4 and not REN6? Yes, yes, yes. I will. Hold on. Can people? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My treat, since I can't use REN4, I can come from the side. Kiko calls it, you know, you may have heard Mushu or Dantian slice. That it's like all around, same level. It's the same as doing, coming from the side, and I'll show you, I'll, when I do Dantian, remind me to show you why from the side is all totally, totally equivalent. To REN4. To REN4, yeah. Why it's in the name. Yeah, why can't we use REN4? She said painful. Oh, yeah. okay. And wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I'm just imitating Kiko. <laughs> she said, and myself. <laughs> she said, made rent 17 worse. Okay, oh, that's right. I can't, right. I can't, even if I, even if I cleared it up, I can't needle this point because it made another point worse. Okay. I don't know what the result is going to be. Can't do that. Okay, so. Okay. How is England? Liver 12, right? It's still sore. It's still sore. Hold on. D d don't run away. Okay. <laughs> How's better? How much better? A lot better. Okay. Fine. Uh, Mushu, Dantian Slice. Rent for. 
so I'm not pressing. You sat here, right? When I do this, how is it's still sore? No, but not worse. Not okay. worse. Okay, fine. It doesn't have to solve it, but I just want to make sure that I do my rent for thing without making 17 worse. How's that? Better. A little bit. I mean, yeah, better. I love percentages. Okay. Second grade. Uh, 30%. Fair enough. Okay. Now, if I'm pressing, you have discomfort here, right? Yeah. Okay. When I press here, how is discomfort in my mind? Better. How a lot much? better. A lot better. Fabulous. Okay. Now, you also had, okay, okay, so, but you know that I'm going to try not to do okay, so, because I am already committed to not doing that. Okay. But you have six, four o'clock and eight o'clock. Okay. Any pain kidney too? Yes. Yes. Okay. Seven. Yes. Sorry. How, forget, I'm sorry, seven hertz. How is six, uh, kidney 16 here? A lot better. A lot better. Fine. Just because I found something that works, I found a number of things that work for the symptom, doesn't mean I shouldn't treat the abdomen. Okay? So, How did you just kidney 7. Kidney 2 is painful, therefore it's not kidney 6 and 27, it's going to be kidney 7 and 10 plus 27. So you asked about kidney 10, you have a little bruise above liver 8, it's not, my, it's not for me. Take the, come to liver 8 and go underneath, and that's 10. Are you palpating for the tendons or anything? So to some extent, I'm not getting too, too, too. Underneath the fold of the knee? Yeah, I mean, okay, we'll, we'll probably do it this time, because usually, how about here? Okay, okay. so before I do, can you have one, two, three, three, three. Okay, how's now? Okay, remember, SCM is in the kidney domain. Pass. Maybe she has started. Yeah, 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 it's not fair if the, um, if the people on the front row also stand and no one can see. Okay, so how, SCM is better? Yes. So kidney 10, seven. Uh, 7 and 10 in a moment. Getting warm, but that's okay. No, no, it's 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 fine. Um, on, the, on, the, on the right side, her S, the bottom part of her SEM was sore, right? Yes. And so sometimes you do kidney three instead, but you did kidney seven. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. I'll do kidney three if she said hypothyroid, hypo only. Okay. Then you can do kidney three. The okay. point hypothyroidism is kidney three, but otherwise, but besides kidney two pain, no argument. Can't argue with with, with fire point. Five point goes above anything else. With all the blood and such. But generally speaking, I don't have a reason to to not obey. So let's recheck abdomen. I did agree. Okay. okay. Let's check abdomen. Ren nine. Still there. How much? Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Okay, not bad. Seventy percent gone. Oh yes, yes. Pulse does not disappear on the table, may get a little weaker. I've never had someone, I personally, never had someone that the pulse disappeared. Plus, her pulse is so strong in there. No, the only good thing about it is it's not moving upwards. That's the good thing, the good news. No, 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 seriously. Because no. the ones that move upwards, not, not a good thing. How's 15? Maybe they're 30. 30% there, okay. Up to now we're at 70% <coughs> success rate, okay. Hey, better than most, <laughs> most MDs, right? Most operations, 50%, 30% is a good success rate. Mm. How is, how 17? That's the big trouble one. Mm, still there, maybe 20, 30%. Okay, well, on adrenal, that's not bad. Okay, so, yes. So lung five is an always part of the <sighs> Whoa, 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 okay. Yeah, Sorry, I, I understand. Yeah. Support, supporting point. You know, the style started in, you know, kind of... 
you it's a very dangerous thing. No, no, no. <laughs> I prefer to answer because someone else will ask the exact same question right. or in, in, uh, on uh, something else. The style started, you know, key, the, the Kiko phenomenon started with sort of with Kiko. Okay? Nagano did something different, in truth. And that's my understanding. Nagano did it from the pulse. Kiko brought in what she studied with Malaka and this palpation business and applied it to what, Mana, what Nagano did. And Nagano approved fully of it. That's the genius of Kiko, okay? The problem is Kiko was never, as far as I know, was never truly, even though he, he really liked her as far as I know, she never was there in his clinic day in, day out for years. She wasn't like the, you know, sensei, sensei, you know, like go, you know. Can you see Kiko? I mean, you, know, you don't know Kiko. <laughs> Trust me, she's not the type. <laughs> you know, like to stand in someone's clinic. I mean, this is this is the person. Like, I want my hands on my fucking patients. I'm not. You know, it's like, I want to learn from you, but I'm not. I'm not here to serve you. It's just not the personality. Some people, that's what they want to do in their lives. So, she brought in many different things. The Kiko style is not a pure style. Okay. Now, I'm not saying. I'm sure that not going to actually said long five. The point is, you have to differentiate between essential points and supporting points. If adrenal team does you a good job, and then you want to kick more into it, think line <coughs> five would, mother of, you know, water point on metal, you know, it's, it has a good chance of helping. But it's not the essence of it. It's extra. I'm the kind of person, I do the essence only, and then I take insurance. You'll see it a lot. I do what I call fluff. The symptoms are better, blah, blah, blah. But remember, God, by 26, did a good job, boom. Remember, Musha did a good job, boom. Why not? You know, it's like, how, much, how much does it cost? See what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not trying to complete. I'm okay with it. The idea is completed for me right now. She got 70% results. I'm good enough. So what happens is, over the years, as I see Kiko getting more um, proficient and more pointed, a lot of this stuff, sometimes she'll go, ah, oh, add line five for, yeah, she's add, it's an addition to chill add, but it's not. At one point when she started doing adrenal, she said that was the textbook. Kidney six, kidney 27, assist with lung five. But when you looked at what she was actually doing, it was very rarely lung five, okay? So I think it was like she was um, building it up and building more confidence and giving herself more options. Okay. So it's good to remember that because that's exactly what she's doing. When, she, when, some, when the patient doesn't respond, lots of patients don't respond. Okay. It's very common that patients don't respond, by the way. Yeah. Then you want to go back and think, what else can I do? What did, what did such and such say? You know, what did, you know, and she does this all the time. She'll say, oh, I remember reading Sabata did this, Baba did this, you know, Wakaya did this. That's the computer that starts going in your brain, going, okay, what else can you do? What could this possibly be? By the way, I haven't checked her hip, which is a very bad thing I should have. No, because the hip replacement, I'm sure there's still something. That's what I was wondering when you passed over here, is that going to be the same? Well, usually hip replacement shows you know. more. First of all, you see the scar. Yeah, because you're going to have One, two, three, four. Four. Three and four. And they usually show more here. They don't show Mushu point. They usually show with hip replacement. Boom. 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 Three. three. This one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So three so and four and three. And unfortunately, I don't know what it was like before we did adrenal. But that's okay because, remember, she's spleen type and hip and spleen line are good friends. So I'll that's start with her. So, so sorry. Hi. How is boom? A lot better. A lot better. How is boom? And three. Oh. A lot better. Okay. How is 17? Uh, better. Just slightly there. Right. Spleen 9 is always up. You know, flat and up. And I'm getting, this is one of those things where I'm actually getting a fair amount of the needle in. By the way, what's your blood pressure? <laughs> oh, let's see. It usually is a little on the low, um, like one, one ten, one sixty. 
Okay. The low, it's not the low, it's the discrepancy. Right. I love the discrepancy. Over 40. Oh, no, yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. one, yeah, it's over 40 mm -hmm. yeah, in difference. It's not over, it's one, right. 10 right. over 60. But yeah. Yeah. How 17? Just a little there. Just a little there. Hold on. I think you said two, eight, three. Yeah. Three. Better. And two. A lot better. A lot better. Okay. Sorry. So under third toe. Ideally, you want to shorten the needle, it's a little easier. Holly? Yes? This has been bugging me the whole time, sorry. Uh -huh. How come you haven't done the red line pulsing treatment? Sorry? How come you haven't done like treatment for red line pulsing? Hold on, okay. I will. The yeah. problem is, okay, the reason why, yeah. if I stick needle in right stomach 24, First of all, I want to strengthen the dantian from the sides if I can, then I do. Some 24 is on the other. I avoid the abdomen until the very end. Okay, so I'd rather go about it from, I'll show you, I'll show you in a second, because it all comes from the character of what does dantian mean. The, the character dan has a very specific sense of it, and it will totally explain to you wh wh where, where this comes from. Sorry. So when you're checking the end of the third toe, you cross lateral for the SDN? Sorry? Maybe you're checking. Uh, yeah, okay. Under the third toe tends to work. Remember, I told you occiput, but I checked against the SDN. Above the diaphragm, it crosses. Below the diaphragm, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Remember, this thing, liver 12, hasty pulse, it relates to our autonomic nervous system. She's basically an autonomic nervous system. <coughs> I've, now I've diagnosed her because I tested, right? No, no, I pr that's my priority. Now, I could be totally wrong. Next time she comes, she says, this was a bunch of shit. It looked good on the table, but, you know, it didn't last. Okay, fine, maybe something else is missing. I, I'm not, she is, for me, my understanding right now is she is autonomic nervous system with weak dantian, basically <coughs> affecting the heart, overflow of the, of, of the heart, okay? Now, she has a project in the family. Okay, so that's her basic quantum constitution for me. I'm going to leave spleen 6 out of it, okay, because blood pressure was spleen 6, but we can still do pericardium. But before we do that, I'm not sure if I'm in the here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, wait. This one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. still. Yes, oh, but better. Okay, no, that's fine. Pain? Mm. I'm checking fire point of pericardium. Mm -hmm. I'm now going for blood pressure treatment, okay? So, which is spleen 6, spleen 9. I said, let's leave spleen 6 out of it. We already have spleen 9. By the way, that's another method of working. Some point works, and then you go, well, gee, I wonder if that fire point is part of a protocol. I wonder what's the rest of a protocol going to look like, going to look like for you. Now, officially, pericardium 8, no, no. Okay, a little. A little, okay. Spleen 6, spleen 9. Plus pericardium. Pericardium 8, spleen 9. Spleen 9, plus pericardium. Pericardium means check pericardium 8, and either do metal water if there's <coughs> pressure there, or, now, here's where Kiko and I diverge. We used to say pericardium 4. <coughs> now, we say pericardium 6. I tend to still go with a 4. Okay, hold on. You had here, right? Gone? Gone. Okay. okay. Don't forget, this is the pericardium move. Let's see what effect that had. Mm, just tiny there. Tiny there. Tiny and by percent. the way, notice that she said a little bit on pericardium 8, and I should have done P3, and I didn't bother, and I did pericardium 4. It happens. It wasn't meant to be, but it did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, because there's no, no, no. I should have done three and five. It, it's okay. She, look, if she said, ouch, on pericardium A, believe me, I would not have forgotten. 
I mean, it, it's like it, it was kind of semi-relevant, so but it wasn't the cleanest way to do it. Anything here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This was a more clear yes. Okay. How much is left here? Okay. How much is left on Ren nine? Yes, Twenty percent. Okay, fine. Boom, nine. That ch changed that a lot. Okay. I usually prefer to go on the other side of the needle. I don't like needling across like that. Mm. But that's okay. That's I have preferences. I also prefer, if you haven't noticed, like, I personally prefer to stand on the left side. Um, <coughs> Christine and I had this discussion. Um, it's, I don't know, it's just something works for me on the left side, does not work for me as well on the right side. But I will walk over. But I do all my, and five. So three and five, because she had eight <coughs> pain. Okay. Symptom is gone as far as I can tell. Okay. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. You can still see, but not anywhere near yeah. as much. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It takes, the pulse takes time, but it never disappears 100%. Mm -hmm. Never seen anybody disappear 100% in, in the, on, the, on the table. Now, over time, it's what it, even over time, in, on, the treatment, it's on the treatment table, does not disappear. Right. If they have a pulse, serious treatment, maybe. Okay. You know. okay, now I do this thing that, okay. So, first of all, do you have spleen 20? Yeah. Yes, okay. So now I have something else to check it with. Okay. So, right stomach 24 is called fle um, slippery flesh gate. Sorry, there's a few discussions I'm wondering if I should be <laughs> involved in them. Uh, slippery flesh gate, and this is the slippery flesh here. Okay. So Nagano said, now I don't know why he decided right side only. I think Possibly, I'm, I'm, I don't know, and some things you can't ask you because she never asked, never would have, she wouldn't have, it didn't occur to her to ask. Um, I think he may have gotten to, I don't know, because I don't know the history, so I don't want to say anything, but I'm thinking, and actually, yeah, no, we'll try just for a second. The, the thing is, the artery tends to move towards the left, so it's easier to treat on the right side. You don't want to treat on the, on the left side, cause, because remember, here I could feel the pulse, not so much on the right side. Okay. <coughs> By the way, how <coughs> you said you had immune reflux before? Mm -hmm. Still? Still. Still. Okay. <coughs> so I need to deal with that first. Because once I put the needle in here, I prefer not to have to deal with... Okay. Relax totally. Okay. Let me start with... The, actually, I just want to know if it solves it. I'm not doing... I'm, this is... Normally I wouldn't do this. Okay. Here, right? Hi, how's now? Uh, yeah. No good? Yeah. Yes, okay. So let me show you what I meant with the immune point <coughs> business. Relax. I'm on Sanjav 16 on my side. One, two, three. Two. Two. So now. So I'm keeping my finger this one. Okay. Mm. How's to a lot better. A lot better. Okay. How is abdomen? Not better. A lot a good amount. A good amount. Okay. There's another side, it's okay. What point is that? Immune point, remember? So that I want to show you that I can keep my hand on Sanja sixteen without pressing and then I check immune point and I press. But, but by keeping my hand there, I can feel that something's moving in the glands. Originally, this call, point was called tonsillitis point. So is it behind the SAM, like along uh, yeah, the jawline? Yeah, sometimes it's along the jawline. Like uh, no, level. it's below the jawline. Okay. I don't want to do you too much. I'm so sorry, Icky. Hi. Very good. Yeah? 
Because I don't like that needle. <laughs> All right. Spring 20, right? Yeah. Okay. Boom. A lot better. A lot better. 24, remember the slippery flesh gate? Okay, so let me explain this. So, REN 9 pulse, we use spleen 24. Spleen tw REN 9 pulse also often comes with left spleen 20. Why? Because it's overflow of the heart. Remember, it's all about the spleen? REN 9 pulse, remember, it's all about, it's, it's the heart overflowing or weak tantien, and it's all about the spleen. Okay. Spleen 20 is the place you can check the heart for that overflow. And remember, gallbladder 26 was a good point for her inguinal, so called inguinal for liver 12, really. Now, as it happens, anything in the lung one area, we add to. Right stomach 24, we add left gallbladder 26 because now structurally it opens up the pectoralis. Okay, yeah. if the gallbladder 20 is tight, look what happens here. If I open this, this can open. Okay, and I think we're good. How are you doing? Now, I know she's good for, you know, because before there was a, first of all, her pulse totally changed. No, no, nobody else took, took it back. Um, but her demeanor changed. She was very tense before. And now I asked her how, how, how she is, and I said, oh, good. Okay, so that's good. But no, 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 no. But abdomen clear, I mean, that's, that's cute. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that, that's, that's the Qigong part. <laughs> that's not important. What's important in terms of the class is this is better. Abdomen is better. That's all. That, that's, you know, okay, yes. What about the now cardiac element? Oh, wait, wait, okay, fine, 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 fine. Because I can do REM4, right? By the way, how, how is three and four? Good. And this one? Pretty good. Okay. How's 17? Good. Pretty good. Just a little. How's just a little? Better. 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 Gone. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember you have uncomfortable here? Yes. It's still a little bit better. Because someone suggests that maybe it's not good because of the hip replacing to the other side, it's not a problem. I have other options. Still some, right? <coughs> Relax. A lot better. Okay. So the point of this is instead of, I'll go, begin because we call upper dantian, lower dantian, middle dantian. She has miscommunication between the dantians. I can't quite access the dantian as well as I would like to because when I do REN4, REN17 gets affected. Okay? So I don't want to do that. Okay? So I'm doing, now I don't want to do the right side of the mushi of the dantian slice because, oh, God forbid, you know, maybe it's too, I don't know what they did there, or, you know, maybe there's some wire there, whatever. Okay, fine, I'll leave it alone. So I can go to the upper dantian. And unlike Kiko, I, I don't add Yu Yao unless I have to. In other words, if I don't, if I really think it's so important and I want extra, I will, but Kiko will do the Yu Yao as well. And that was for the REN4? That was for the REN4 and hopefully for 17 too. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, let's cover you. Thank you. Sorry? <coughs> Would I, this scar looks okay. 
I mean, I made it better with Spleen 9 originally. I mean, I did address it. <coughs> Remember, I sort of went, oh, yeah. shit, I didn't deal with the scar. What? Yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a good practitioner. I, I don't, no, I did, generally don't deal with scars. OK, so let's talk about this Dantian visit, because she's actually a really good um, demonstration in some ways of this. You can have a seat, because I'll need the board. <laughs> okay, I fucked up Chinese this kind of video. <laughs> Done? Mm -hmm. the, something on the top. Yeah. No, I think yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing on the top. I think there is. I don't no, agree with you. No, no, it's like this. Let's find it for me. Mm. I think it's uh, oh, no, 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 this. Because it's this. this. It's this. No, 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 no. Uh, you, you, you're another Chinese. Done. Does it have a thing on the top or not, Abigail? You. Does it have a thing? In my opinion, it should be like this. Yeah, yeah, that, that is the thing. This, this is, that the, is yeah, the thing. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. No, no, I just... What? This... Yeah, I'll tell you where, where, where I'll show you where it comes from. Okay, no, don't worry, nobody else knows. It doesn't. I, even I don't. I mean, even I, I definitely don't know. Maybe even you want to write it. It's the name of my clinic. Yeah. So oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Darling, Tien. But he's right. No, no. But Philip is right. I'm sorry. You know, maybe because I'll tell you his character. Okay, very. Like, you know. Everything on the computer, nobody can tell how you write. You can write like a stupid three-year-old and they don't know. I used to send patients to Chinatown and try and copy characters, and then they come back and say they won't give it to me. Why? Because they said your, your practitioner is a five-year-old who doesn't know anything, and we don't trust it. <laughs> so now that it's typed, nobody says I send them Boston, Chinatown, fine, they don't know. Now, this one, I really, I bet I'm making a big mess out of this one. Jing, like a well, oh, right? Jing. Okay, I know it has to be, I, I'm not quite in the right angles. <laughs> okay. This is, this is Dan. Dan Tian. Okay, field. Red. Or cinnabar. This is, this thing is this, plus something in it that, that you find inside the well, this well, like Jing well, right? Mm. right. Jing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Because <laughs> if I go in Chinese, you don't know where it's going to go. It could go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> in the well, you find the mineral. Okay. You find, the, you find this little thing. And that's the cinnabar. That's the, that's the process of alchemy. Now, this thing is basically this, this field. This is, you took a field and you, you the well is inside a field. It it's, doesn't look like this character, but it represents the same idea as this character, okay? So what you're seeing is you're seeing the, in the dantian, the field of the body, what you're seeing is you're seeing the well, the spiraling of the body. Okay, we can take this off. Really don't care about all of this. The Dantian, so first of all, in the Dantian, what, you, what you're seeing is you're already seeing the character for the Jing Well Queen. Number one. Okay. Two, you're, see, you're seeing this spiraling that happens, and that's why, who asked me, Ren 6 or Ren 4? Eden. Okay. Uh, could be both Dantian, and sometimes we will substitute one for, for the other. Okay. However, autonomic nervous system, we tend to prefer Ren 6. So maybe I should have done REN 6 on her because REN 4, I did not want to do REN 4. I couldn't do REN 4 because it made REN 17 better. I could have done REN 6 maybe. The thing is, sorry, I lost something there. Okay, the well, okay? This whole spiraling thing that happens, that has to happen around, you know, in the front of the spine to bring the marrow to the brain, that is the field of life. That's what we do in life. OK? 
Okay, that's the engagement that we have in life. And so, remember this thing when we talked about the neck that there's the ren and the do as one channel? And then, so, you know, it's like Kiko says something like, okay, you have your primitive thing of this channel of mouth to anus, okay? And then at some point the organism, okay, say so you're an amoeba, well, that's good enough, okay? No, because you're small. You get bigger, you know, with evolution, you start developing more organs. You need to take, take the food, because from here the food gets absorbed into the, into the cell or whatever it is. At some point you're going to have to take the food and not from all the way at the bottom where it goes out, okay? Because an organism ultimately is also defined by it's taking in and taking out its, its relationship to its environment. It's somehow separate but not separate from its environment. Otherwise, who are you versus the air around you? So philosophically you can say, yes, I am, I am the air around me, but you know, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's like, well, there's the food that I eat and the poop that I poop and, the, you know, the air that I breathe in and the air that I breathe out. There's some, there's some separation, okay? So it can't be here, but somewhere around here, okay, I have to take what I took from the outside world, the digestive that stuff, that, and bring it to the rest of my body, okay? So that's where from the small intestine, okay, we're going to say rain for just for the sake of argument now, we're going to start spiraling stuff out. So those would be the blood vessels, and eventually there'll be a heart. When the organism is a little bit bigger, they will create a heart and there'll be a circulatory <coughs> system, and now we have the system that we have, you know, for us. There's a place where something can no longer be just a straight line. It has to well and spiral and, and start doing stuff that's going to permeate elsewhere. That place is, I can't write like you. <laughs> yeah. Didn't work well. I'm trying to do this curve. The dante, the, this done, the kernel in the well, that's the dantian, that's the, that's the small intestine wall. Okay? So, if that, if there is any disruption there, then the whole rest of the spiraling up the spine is basically fucked up. Okay? <laughs> well, it's medical terms. <laughs> so, that's what, that's why this dantian is so important. It's not, you know, the problem is we've been so ingrained into REN6, REN4, tonify the kidney, you know, we, we've been given other ideas, but to just look at it sort of as a, forget the kidney, forget, you know, forget all that other stuff, but just look at a structure. You're mediating between heaven and earth, and this spiral needs to happen. Where is that spiral coming to, and how, without that spiral, there's no life, and how can you affect that spiral? Now you can look at where else is that spiral going to be, okay? And the top of that spiral is going to be here, okay? So often UB1, by the way, it really should be UB1 and not UB2. UB1 is called uh, Ming Man also. Uh, uh, yes, it's called Jing Ming, bright vision, bright, you know. But it's also, there's another name for it in the Ling Shu, which is Ming Man. So it's clearly related to the same thing. It's clearly a hormonal point. It clearly has the same kind of effect as, as this Ming Man. Okay. So just look, to keep looking at the central core and how can I fit? This is a person whose central core is whacked out. Sorry, no offense. <laughs> No, but you know, it's like there's some weakness there that can't create mm -hmm. this sort of the correct spiral. Okay, so that's why you can correct it now because remember, this is the same as Jing, comes from the same root. Therefore, you can correct it from the sides, i.e., Mushu, Dantin slice. You can also therefore correct it from the top. And I know now this is going to sound like Richard Tan, right? I get it. <laughs> so, but it's not. <laughs> so you can, because of this well, anywhere where there's going to be a well, there's going to be that action, you should be able to correct it. And now you have to go and use your imagination. Where is that going to be? You know, so this is open discussion. Going back to the ancestors, you know, the Tianzong. Because I, that this is part, this is, um, yeah. I can't 
try to do English, but I sure can try to do Chinese. Uh, Yes? Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. The hand that hands over, that gives the sentence over to the, to the concubine of the woman, Chie, or Chie, okay. Um, No, 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 no. That was right. The the three lines, yeah. three li three three horizontal lines. Yeah. So, Xian, to take what's being given, handed to us down. This is not an acupuncture point. Sorry. This is the name of my lineage. Okay, that's why. That's if I can explain to you how how I arrive at all this. Why, why am I doing all this? To take what's been handed down to me, to me, to welcome. This means to receive or to welcome. Okay. To take what's been given down to me and to make to see. This is to see big eye over, you know, legs. Okay. The jade, but it doesn't. In this case, it doesn't have it. To make the jade manifest. To make it to be able to see. We've been given something by the ancestors. We've been given something by people like Mishi Jai, like Pico, or like whoever. We have to now, this was what handed down to us. I have to make it manifest in my own life. Okay? Forget the stupid protocols. They're not important. And I'm telling you, if you want them, they're on my website. You can ask me also, I can rattle them off to you like there's no tomorrow. You know, you'll be sorry you asked. The point is, how do I make it my own? How do I make the treasures that my ancestors gave me? and make it real, in real life, to make it manifest. That's what the, the practice is about. Whether you practice acupuncture or you're practicing, you know, some tantric, whatever, I don't care. It doesn't matter. That's what we're doing. So we have to take these things that they, they gave us, and that's, by the, that's what's related to small intestine 11. That's where the ancestors come in, you know, into my own body. You know, in my opinion, the, the actual location is wrong, because that's not where I feel it in my body, but I think all of us are going to feel it differently. Different people in the Chinese medicine stream have discovered different things in different ways. We just take it and make it manifest. So, is this like an appropriate, correct, you know, treatment according to all protocols? I don't know, maybe. So you're asking about the Ren 9. Who cares as long as... I, so what I did, I fluff, this is what I call fluff. In her case, for someone else, rent uh, stomach 24 would have been extremely important. For her, it was, I've got it. I've got it under control. I've got another idea happening here. Everything is cool. I'll take extensions, why not? Throw in some protocols. Okay? But if you look at uh, generally what it is, it's she's got a disturb, disrupted dantian, now we're going to bring it back to kidney because, yes, she's got the wrong shoe. She's got the disruption of the adrenals. So basically, her, ultimately, she's an adrenal plus blood pressure. And then I'm adding the dantian to create that spiral. Does that make sense? Any questions? Now, I won't do too much philosophy anymore. <laughs> no, because, you know, it's not very practical. Missed word that P3P5 came in instead of P3P4. Okay, P3P4 as a combination does not exist. Only P3P5. P3P5 is metal water. Oh, okay. So, okay. Check pericardium 8. And then if pericardium 8 is painful, do P3, which is in the middle. Don't do it to the side like the TCM thing, in the middle. Plus P5. That's metal water. If pericardium 8 is not painful, you now have a number of options. Originally, we used to say, if the patient doesn't care about needling P8, you should needle P8. No, nobody, nobody says yes, go ahead. So originally, we said three fingers before, below P3 is P4. That was the substitute for P8. And then we said, if they don't, actually, we used to say this. P8, you have three options. Pain, I like it, I don't care. 
I like it should be either P8 or P4, one or the other. Don't like it, P5, P3. I don't care should be P6. But it seems like recently, the more recent you know, um, general way is, if P8 is not painful, doesn't matter if they like it or not, do more likely P6. I have, I have a stronger preference for P4, generally speaking. By the way, you can check the pericardium, pericardium points. Also, if you're not sure of four or six, check it against the neck. It will be, the neck will be the one that will tell you, which, it, for me, which one does a better job. Mm -hmm. Check which the part of the SCM. neck. Any, pa the any part of the neck. Okay. I left it open on purpose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, that's the other thing. When you have the right idea, when you got, got to this stage of prioritizing and testing, you don't need to test a protocol point. I'm using, let's say, right stomach 24 for red line pulse. That's a protocol. Or I'm using kidney 7 27. That's a protocol for kidney, below kidney 16. I can test it against absolutely anything I want in the body that had some pressure pain before. I don't have, if a point really is the right point for the person, it will do anything and everything. So I sometimes test the abdomen, and that happens actually a lot in classes because I lose my concentration, as you've seen. But what I do is I forget what happened, but I remember the symptom or I remember something else, and I'll check it against something that's totally unrelated because I've already thought, gee, I think this point is good for this person, and then I don't have to check it against the official line. I can check it against anything. Now, let's just, since we said that, let's check our small intestine 11. By the way, not because of the great, <coughs> not, not because of small intestine 11 as, as being the big point now, but truly because of cardiac. Where are you? Um, where is oh, What time is it? 12.32. We'll take you into that one second. Any questions? Yes. Can you speak to using Moxa, as in especially the case of the immune points? Yeah. Um, let's do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Talk is cheap. Um, we had lighters, I know. So. Oh, you were. Mm. Okay. So, certain points on Moxa points, and specifically immune points are um, Moxa points. Uh, any point that is uh, the element on the element, spleen 3, lung 8, are immune points. Then we have a number of points that are considered moxa points, large as 15, liver 5, um, spleen 7 is a moxa point. So there's a bunch, uh, Kaya Goldblatt 31, which we used for sciatica, is originally a moxa point. So there's a bunch of points that were originally came from moxibustinus, therefore we do moxa. So this is Shionpro, which is, um, I think Andy Ellis sells something called lithospermic cream, which I think you can use. I make this myself. I'll tell you the recipe. And as Alicia knows, it stinks. <laughs> stinks up your kitchen like that. I don't recommend you try to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Just buy it. You can, I, I would have bought, brought some, but I had only hand, hand <laughs> luggage, so I, it's a cream. You can't. Uh, and I like putting it in, you know, people ask me why the injector, because it's easier. Yeah, where do you get the injector? Any pharmacy Any will give you. It's an oral, oral syringe. Oral syringe, no big deal. Oh, you just said moxa points for anything or just moxa? When you're using these points, try and do moxa on them, depending on your capacity, number one, of being able to do moxa, number one. Number two, um, time and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it's not so simple. Kiko works with two or three people at a time. Okay, she's got all the time, uh, she's got all the labor she wants. <laughs> you know, it's like, moxa, blah, blah, you know, when I, when I use moxa, moxa girl for her, yeah, she used to call me moxa girl, it's okay. <laughs> it was before she allowed men, <laughs> then she allowed, you know, Philip was moxa boy. <laughs> By then she learned that there's another gender, <laughs> so <coughs> there's, no, she has, you know, she has two or three people, and she, people would come, the old, the older clinic that she had was a this house with seven treatment rooms upstairs and downstairs and she would stand in the kitchen she'd go go do moxa on this that she hasn't seen the person yet she knew the person it wasn't a new patient 
Maksa blah 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 blah, and then she someone else, Maksa this this this, she just directs the traffic. Yeah. And then she walks in with someone into a room to the person. She treats and then she says, okay, Maksa da 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 da. She, I mean, the amount of work there is like, I mean, you get black fingers, yeah. you know, after two days. So the idea about these Maksas is that they hold them very light. Kiko used to say like, by the way, when I went there the first time, she was pissed off because I burned someone. She never taught how to do moxa. How was I supposed to know? I mean, I did the best I could. I've not been doing it for a while. So then she started teaching how to do it. So she said, very light, like going out dancing. And that was the, you know. So mm -hmm. no, that, you know, like going out dancing like this. So you, you roll very slight. Some people do it with um, between two blocks. Now, the size doesn't matter so much. The fluffiness matters more. Because, and now what Kiko, by the way, Kiko burns people all the time, take that off the tape. Uh, <laughs> she does, because uh, I have people who've gone and said, oh my God, she burned me. Um, but what she, what she does, she does bigger cones and she snaps them out in the middle. Um, I'm not that thrilled about it because it also, I don't like my fingers getting so black with the ashes because then it's hard to hold. The thing is you don't want your sweat in the moxa because that makes it hot. You don't want it too compact, and you don't want it... Are you okay? Yeah. Are you feeling something? Yeah. Okay, good. Is it comfortable? Yes. Okay, that's good. So it's this... Oh, God. Um, size is not... does not matter here. Okay. <laughs> Fluffy <Yes>. matters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. Yeah, you don't. If you have bigger cones, then you do need to snap them out. Uh, but yeah, I totally don't. You know, sometimes I get a bigger one or something. All the patient goes, so I go. You know, now don't press them in. Sn squeeze them so you get the heat, not the patient. No, you know, it's like they're paying. They have the right. The protocols to do moxa on the immune points, uh -huh. given the results that you've gotten, if she was How a real patient, is it? would you have followed up with moxa on the on LI-10? Probably. I mean, one of the things that I have to be very careful with someone that I've already done in the autonomic nervous system, mm -hmm. given that I'm doing the moxa and I don't have a uh, someone to blame it on. Yeah. Uh, no, no, because you know it's a little different. Plus, you know, it's like it's you a patient thing. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Um, Auto, uh, autonomic nervous system types don't often like the moxa. It's, it's the sudden weird thing that happens, and they can't take the, the suddenness of it. It's not predictable. So sometimes I will avoid, I would like to do, but you know, so with her, since somebody said, I said, okay, fine, I figured, okay, we'll see what happens. Uh, but there's a little bit of a risk that they'll get agitated. With the moxa, other people don't. You know, most people it's okay. Um, moxa is optional and not optional. Philip works without moxa. He's in Kaiser. He can't. Lots of people do. Lots of people don't have time. I have a student in Israel loves moxa. I mean, he just. I mean, you know, I can talk to him on the phone like for an hour, and all I can hear is like moxa, 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 moxa. I'm like, do you do anything else? <laughs> you know? It's like everyone's got the resonance of what they like, what 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 makes sense for them. So, and then you go like this all the time to, to make sure your hands don't have um, sweat in it on there. So, you know, it's time consuming. On the other hand, it's kind of fun. You want to get to a point where that feels like a meditation. Sometimes Kiko, she has people to do it for her and she'll sit there and do it. She wants to do it. So it's, uh, it's quite relaxing, actually. Mm -hmm. It's because we're both sadists, I don't know. The reason I'm stamping the route is because my, my um, don't have to do it anymore, but my right fingers were a little bit wet, a little moist from sweaty, so I, I didn't want to. Oops, sorry. Okay. And yes, I do put uh, blankets on people with needles, and yes, sometimes this happens. This needle is bent. So. 
My preference in needles, talking about that, I used to use 2x40s series. If you're doing a needle, the needle should, in my opinion, I don't like it when people do a needle, they insert it all the way in to the, to the handle, not because I think it's dangerous or anything. The reason I don't like doing that is because I feel that the needle should have, it should be like an antenna. So there should be some floppiness to it. There should be something, that it should be influenced by the environment around it. So, so yeah, in an ideal situation, you don't have things on top of it, but the ideal situation is like, well, you know, there's warmth issues and there's other, you know, people are comfortable, more comfortable with blankets. But I prefer longer needles, if possible. In the last two or three years, I only use two by, you know, one by 30s, almost on anything. But I prefer, if I could, I would use two by 40. Kyotoshin has to be thicker needle, of course, of course, of course. And I don't, I honestly, I don't do Kyotoshin. I only do OQ. I don't, okay, OQ is what you saw, okay? Kyotoshin is you take a metal handle and you put stuff on it and you light it up. When Kawai was here 12 years ago, 13 years ago, we went and we went Kyotoshin crazy for three weeks and I smelled like I came out of the dungeon. You know, it was awful. And I've, ever since then I don't, don't touch this. I refuse. I just, it was so awful after seeing him, you know, because I went, because that's all he does. Every needle he does, ear needles, head needles, no matter what, every needle, Kyotoshin. You know, it, I mean, it's impossible. So. Oh, marks on top of the needle. You put the needle, and then you put... Like what we have in the spot. What? It's a big ball of Yeah, so Kawhi, he his wife rolls them, and she puts them on. You can buy, there's a smokeless thing that OMS sells, and that's okay, because you won't smell like, you know, horrible stuff. It's just, you know, I kind of feel like, you know what, I take a sock, and I take um, corn, agricultural corn, in it, put it in the microwave for four minutes, and I put it on the abdomen or on the buttock. Better that, I mean, for me, it's easier than, I, I, I can't stand the, the hashish smell. Yeah. You know, it just that doesn't, yeah. sorry. Do you use TDP lengths or uh, heating devices? Yeah, 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 the, the ones with the mineral thing, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Or, or a red, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I mean, it's just to keep it warm, just to warm it up. But yeah, ideally, if you, because Keiko did the same thing. She did Kyotoshin up the gazoo for a few weeks after Kawhi was here, and then she went, you know, we talked about it afterwards. And she said, I can't do it. She said, yeah, I can't do <laughs> it. Like, you know, so she does more. You know, she still does some, but I'm, I just like, I have no interest whatsoever. Sorry. You don't feel like it affects your results? Yeah. I think it would be nice if I could. I mean, spe okay, the Kyotoshin, okay. Kyotoshin is different than, than Okyo, than this kind of moxa, in the sense that the heat penetrates inside much more through the needle. So if you're touching the skin, the skin may be warm, but underneath is cold. And that happens a lot in the buttocks and in the lower abdomen. Yes, it's the best. So I can pretend I'm working for Kaiser, I'm not allowed. <laughs> you know, I, for me, I'm not allowed for me. <laughs> I, I, I just... I, I just can't take it. I mean, you know, it's like you, you, you really, you smell like you're a dope addict. <laughs> you know, and I don't even have hair. So, no, I mean, so other people, I know, people complain about it all the time. I tell them, stop doing it. For me, that's the, that's the only solution I can accept. Oh, you can take those smokeless, I can't remember what they're called. Yes, they're very expensive, but, you know, but okay, you know, so you just, you, if that's important for you, you do it. You need a thicker needle to put the Kyotoshin on because it, it has weight. You cannot use number one. You need at least number three, at least. Okay. Yes. On the issue of the blanket on top of the needles, yeah. uh, Jing Li uh, gave me a space uh, the, the blanket of mylar. A mylar sheet mm -hmm. that the, that you get in camping stores. Oh yeah, yeah. And and it doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, I, I know. But it people. keeps people totally warm because mm -hmm. it holds your yeah. own warmth. Yeah. And it doesn't push it doesn't on the needles. Yeah. And they kind of like it. They, yeah. Oh, a baked potato. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. I use okay. I use Lufthansa first class. 
has the best <laughs> blankets. <laughs> <laughs> and they're always very happy to give them to you when you explain to them what it's for. They always think, oh, how weird, acupuncture, and they give you blankets. <laughs> not, not, not coach, not business. First, well. beautiful um, um, <laughs> moons and suns, blue. <laughs> They were, but you know, but yeah, they weigh, they weigh things down a little bit. So, so yeah, they weigh things down. Works. Yeah, yeah. No, I've heard of it. You know. So, anyway. Let's take you out and we'll do lunch. Any other questions? Any things you'd like to me to talk about also? Yes, Normally we would throw, you always do the back. I always do the back, except when, when other people want to have lunch. <laughs> it's not because of me. <laughs> I always do the. I always front do front and back. and back. Why? Because. If you only treat the front, you don't know what's left. Okay. You don't know. You know, just like with medical history, you don't know what it is that's holding that person, and maybe what's holding her is somewhere around T5. So if I didn't check the back, if I don't do the back. I might be leaving something that will pull it. Maybe she'll get up and say, oh, everything's cool now. But maybe I'm leaving something that's going to leave something to hold the condition. So I would rather do the, I always do front and back treatments. I am not the kind of person who can get out of my office in, you, you can get out of my office in an hour if you're lucky, if you ask for it. But it's an hour and 15 minutes usually, because it's front and back. the rhythm of how you coordinate different depending on how many wounds I have. I'll, I'll treat as many patients as I can. Well, right now I only have two treatment wounds, uh, so it's irrelevant. I used to have up to five. Um, I will treat as many people as, as there are. I don't care, but I'll always leave a treatment room open for emergency if I can. I mean, right now I only have two, but, uh, so I don't really care about the, um, you know, you can, it, it's, it doesn't matter. It's as long as I have, that's what I have. As long as they have, actually, is, is what matters. But you schedule your appointments staggered by like half an hour? Or? Right now, because I have two, two rooms, yeah. But if I have more, it, it's, kind of, it's irrelevant. Because you know, if you have five treatment rooms, you can have see four people, as long as one is free, so I can always get someone in or leave someone longer. Uh, by the way, Kiko does the same thing. And the scheduling is different for Kiko, but Kiko doesn't, um, if someone doesn't, if she doesn't get the results she wants, are you okay? Yeah, see left. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, can you sit, wrap it around and tell us how the thing is? Oh, oh there's what a reason why you here. This one, liver 12. You mean set up or? No, no, no. Well, I can do it this way. A little, but a lot better. It's Mostly much? gone. Okay. Well, we'll see if we have time. We'll, we'll finish. It's okay. Um, we, I, I don't send people, if I can, if they have the time, I don't send them until I get what I wanted. And Kiko's the same way. She, I mean, she sometimes has had people there for two hours. She just insists, but for, to be able to do that, you need extra rooms. It's not so simple. Yeah. So the real estate is expensive. How do you do that with two rooms? I don't, I don't have that capacity. Oh, okay. So, you know, but I also, but my, I have a lot less patients right now than I ever, you know, it's like I don't treat like, a, you know, you know, like this guy, you know, like a friend of Kiko's, he treats 200 people a week. It's not my thing. You know, I don't treat that. So, I have plenty of space, and also with two rooms, it's no big deal. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's a, uh, but yeah, it's, my idea is always, like, my idea is minimal, if you want to do this, because otherwise it's also important. When a patient's with needles and you finish with needles, what do you do? Wash dishes? <laughs> books? No, seriously. Study. <laughs> I do emails. So, yeah, so that's what I do between patients is I answer people's emails. If you have questions, no, no, seriously. If you have questions, you can always email me. You have, but I will always ask you, I will be quite rude sometimes in answering, and I will say, well, you didn't give me medical history or you didn't give me that, so just be aware that you can always email me with questions. Okay, and I will answer usually within 24 hours. I don't do it by phone. I don't, I won't, uh, either phone or Skype or any of that, I don't answer patients' questions on the phone, I can't do it. 
um, I can do it by the way. It's, it's just how, how I work. Because I can do it in my own in my own way, in my own time. And I'll tell you what other details I need. So, so let's go for lunch. Let's